Hello friends, welcome back in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I am going to demonstrate you uh, the continue the part of the data guard Oracle data guard 11 G release 2 step to configure read only standby database. Okay, so <coughs> on the standby machines we have just performed some uh, particular commands. So let's see now I'm going to convert the physical standby database into read only data standby database in that in that case <coughs> what happen your database will be in a read only mode let uh, let me show you how to convert the physical standby database into read only mode okay so let's see just uh, perform these actions so shut down immediate <coughs> now start amount but before that I'm um, let me clear the screen start amount okay now alter database open read only N after that command your database will open in the read only mode okay okay <coughs> now run that command to check the database mode so you can see your database mode is open in read only mode and this is your physical standby machine okay and uh, <coughs> now you can uh, connect with your Scott user let me clear the screen before that just connect Scott and Tiger so you can see you can <coughs> read the data from the Scott user you see like that okay so <coughs> your standby machine now open in the read only mode if you want to uh, check the redo applying or not on the standby machine you just run the alter system switch log command on primary machine and check your redo is applying or not on the standby machine so now log in on primary machine and run the switch log command that one and uh, check the redos are come on the standby machine or not so this is my primary machine and uh, now let me clear the screen I'm run the alter system system switch log command okay <coughs> and uh, check the uh, read what is the redo sequence number right now so so <coughs> you can see here now your redo sequence number is 14 here, here okay and uh, now I'm going to on a standby machine and uh, check the redo which redo is coming here so just connect your as uh, DBA because here I'm connecting on Scott user so we have need to connect to the C user so now so you can see here your some redo log files are come here but not applied you can see here <coughs> no 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 so <coughs> when you open your database standby database in the read only mode your redos are come definitely come on a standby machine but it's not applied that time okay so if you want to bring back from there you just follow the steps <coughs> these three steps you can follow for the bring back so just shut down your database startup mount and the next command is alter database recover managed standby database disconnect from session you just monitor your all the <coughs> activity in the read uh, alert log file see your the sequence number is 15 now i'm going to check the redo sequence the read apply or not just so just run this command so you can see your all redo is applying okay and uh, <coughs> in the alert file it's just waiting for the sequence number 15 okay <coughs> 16 so that is the method to <coughs> configure 
your standby database into read only mode and uh, how to bring back from the read only mode to standby physical standby okay so <coughs> hope you found that video very informatic thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my video in the next video i'm, I'm going to uh, demonstrate you how to configure active data guard so thanks for watching